You bet. We're going to start answering your emails. We'll start right now, in fact. The question comes from Jerry Blum, Somerville, South Carolina, and the question is, is it against the NHRA rules to run a rear-engine funny car like they used to run years ago? Well, the man dialed into years ago is Mike Dunn. Well, Jerry, actually, it is not against the rules. The problem is you're only limited to a 125-inch wheelbase. We take a look at here the only real successful rear-engine funny car that won the 1972 Super Nationals driven by my father. One thing you have to notice, you look at the driver position in a rear-engine funny car, right on that windshield, his feet are basically on the front axle. Normal position in a front engine car, you're back up there on the rear wheels. Now, what happens when the car gets loose, you're sitting on that rear wheel, you can really feel the car get out of shape and you can correct. When you're sitting farther forward, that car has to move around a lot further before you feel it, and as a result, Pretty much every rear engine funny car that was built in the 1970s crashed, except for my father, only because of his talent behind the wheel kept him from doing it. But even after two years, he finally says, hey, this thing's a handful. I'm going back to the front engine funny car.